What is up, everybody? We are back. It is November 1st, 2022, the day after Halloween, and I feel amazing. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I feel so amazing. So last year on Halloween, we went out, we had a great time, woke up the next day, hung over, not feeling so great, drank a little bit too much the night before. And I had been flirting with the idea of quitting alcohol for a while. And I said, you know what? I'm quitting for a month. All month of November, no alcohol. Well, one month turned into two months, turned into three months, turned into 120 days. And I decided, I said, I'm going to go a full year. I'm going to go one year with no alcohol, focus just on myself and my health and see where that takes me. And let me tell you how much better I feel. Mentally, I'm way more equipped to deal with the stress of life, the stress of business, the stress of things going on at home, the stress of everything, uh, OCD and anxiety recovery, big time. I've made major leaps in my um, ERP therapy since quitting alcohol, just because I'm more equipped to deal with that stress. When, when you're drinking alcohol, you're, you're just constantly like this. And we know with um, OCD and anxiety, that's what our moods can look like. So introducing alcohol into that mix is just exacerbates the highs and the lows extremely. So that's been absolutely amazing. My physical health has really gone to the next level. I have lots of injuries I needed to heal up, a couple surgeries I was healing up from, and I just couldn't get past that hump of, okay, I've had surgery, I've done the PT, but I really don't feel great. I really don't feel um, you know, strong like I did before um, I had these injuries. So quitting alcohol and reducing the amount of inflammation in my body, um, alcohol turns into sugar. So by reducing that alcohol, um, I really quickly felt the effects of what it was doing to my body not having that in there. And um, that's been amazing. I've recovered much further from my knee surgery as well as my elbow and wrist surgery than I know I would have if I, if I didn't stop drinking alcohol. Um, also, my relationship. I was talking with my fiance last night. We're, we're fixing to get married in December. And she just told me, you know, you're not the same person, you know, when when you were drinking it. And it's not that I had an extreme problem with alcohol, but it probably wasn't the most healthy relationship. And I was definitely using it um, as a coping mechanism. And I just wasn't who I was meant to be. And I wasn't performing well in terms of dealing with my stress and anxiety, which made the relationship more difficult. You know, I was on edge a lot more. I was, like I said, up and down, up and down. So that has elevated our relationship to the next level. Also, my relationship with my kids, I'm not drinking. They don't, they don't have those different versions of me anymore, which I'm, I'm very proud of. And I'll preface all this by saying, you know, I, I was not some drunk that was passed out all the time, that was drinking all the time, but at the end of the evening, after a hard day, I would have a couple beers with dinner. Um, on Saturdays, watching the UFC fights, I would have some beers. On Sundays, watching football, I would have some beers. And you add all those up throughout the week, and it just wasn't um, a, a healthy relationship with alcohol. So I wanted to break that cycle. Um, not to say that I'll, I'll never have a drink again, but I, I know myself, and um, I've been through different scenarios similar to this one. And... I know once I make a decision to change my lifestyle, that's it. So there could be a night where, or at my wedding, where we have a toast, we have a drink, and then things go right back to the way they are now. Once I've broken that relationship with whatever that thing may be, it's broken. That relationship is done. It's, it's forever changed. And I'm so excited for that, being as young as I am with alcohol, that that relationship with alcohol is is now broken forever. So um, I just can't tell you how great I feel and how optimistic I feel for the next year, um, keeping this relationship with alcohol to an extremely low, you know, minimum. 
So, man, I, I challenge everybody out there. If drinking is something that um, you do, and maybe you do, you know, more than a couple times a week, I challenge you to just go, go a month without alcohol and see how you feel and be honest with yourself. Don't be rushing back to get that first drink and oh, a month was great, now I'm gonna have a drink. Stop and process it, really see how do you feel as a person inside and outside because I'm telling you, it has taken me to the next level and I'm never going back. This is the new me and I'm, I'm super grateful for the people around me that didn't even know they were motivating me but motivated me every day to stay on course for my fiance and my family for always believing in me. And um, man, I feel amazing. So like always, like this video so other people can find it. Leave me a comment of some things that you've changed in your life for the better. And like always, hit that subscribe button. You know what happens when we get to 500 subscribers. I will get out in my community and donate $100 to an organization that I feel does good. I have a good idea of who that's going to be next, but I think we're at like 430 something subscribers. So hit that like button, share this with a friend, smash that subscribe button. Let's get to 500. Have a great day, y'all.